Okay, it's Rollo Ross from Reuters. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. I have to say, this was such a fantastic film. It's been my favourite film, I think, since the pandemic started. Um, I was just sort of thrilled all the way through, just and excited and loving it. Um, and also, just I mean, I was just wondering, firstly, I mean, I know a lot of people say in these in these interviews, oh, this really plays to our time, but this really does <laughs> play to our time. I mean, why do you, I mean, how are you expecting people to react to this? Because it's it's kind of so close to where we are in the world right now. Uh, yeah, I, I hope that, uh, man, I hope that people take, you know, Aquafina said this earlier and I absolutely agree. Um, I hope that people take with them that trust and unity is always above hate. And, and that's the only way we can really move forward in this world. Um, yeah. It's true. But also that you're having the, having the baddie is like a, almost a pandemic is. is oh true. yeah. 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 The dream. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was saying. I mean, like it's, it's like they have this thing that turns everyone to stone and yeah. it has no, like it doesn't pick who gets, who gets turned to stone or anything like that. And it's just up to people to come together and work together to beat it. Yeah. Um, no, that's, you know, I don't know. I find, I find it a tonic for our time. But it also says a lot about um, the, the, the level of sisterhood in the movie it is really um, tangible. I was wondering, mm -hmm. how much did you, were you guys able to work together? Were you able to work ever face to face and try and build up that sisterhood? Or is it a very different process than that? Uh, we had to go to sisterhood classes, actually. Um, it was a sisterhood training. Uh, no, no, we uh, we actually, we actually we spent uh, a, a lot of some of the 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 uh, we went into lockdown obviously so a lot of it um, we had to do from our own homes and and unfortunately I I didn't work I didn't get the chance to work that that, that closely with Kelly we met once in passing at an award show but I I really I I really love Kelly Marie Tran I think she's I I respect her so much and uh, we've kind of gotten to know each other throughout just these these uh, interviews so it's it's been. It's, it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah. It is so refreshing though. I mean, in so many different ways. I mean, like the narrative, the, 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 what, just the representation, the way the story is told. Um, I mean, uh, how would you say this is sort of like a new, um, a new version of animation in some ways, a new version of storytelling, I suppose. Mm. Wait, say that one more time. The, the beginning of the question. <laughs> well, I'm saying that it's it's so refreshing. Like it's, I, I, nearly everything surprised me about this movie. You know, like mm -hmm. everything was popping at me, and uh, and you know, then you can get things like um, Con Baby, and you know, <laughs> each of the characters has a surprise, and each of the characters is is is, is has an unusual story to themselves. Mm -hmm. And just wondering, I mean, like, how much would you say that this is sort of a, a fresh style on on a narrative? Because I I felt it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that says a lot about uh, just how incredible the writers like Adele and Quee and, and also our filmmaking team and, and Don and Carlos, everyone from the beginning had a vision for this movie being definitely different from everything that we've sort of historically thought of and seen when we when we think of the words Disney princess, when we think of this specific genre of film. So uh, yeah, I think everyone was really cognizant of that, of not just wanting it to be a uh, a film that authentically represented a, a very specific special part of the world, but we also wanted it to be different. And I'm really glad that that resonated with you, that there were uh, a lot of surprises because that's always a good thing. <laughs> how, pr how proud are both of you of this movie? Because um, it does do a lot of things and it is, and it's a great movie. So, I mean, like how proud are you, of, even when you were making the film, I suppose? So, so proud. So proud, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, you know, it, it's funny because like you don't realize when you watch it, uh, like you know, kind of how powerful or 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 that you wouldn't even expect it to really feel this way or to like come out this way. Um, I think that we all we I you know I'm speaking for Kelly, but I think we both knew that obviously we were in good hands. We're we're working for one of the the best animation studios in in the probably in the world ever. And so yeah, it was uh, we always knew that it would it would be really awesome. But for me, seeing it was uh was really crazy. You know, just seeing how the characters came out, um, and then kind of what it all all meant. So, did you have well, like when when you first saw it? I mean, like, is it was it a surprise in some ways? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's it's definitely a surprise, especially when you're working in the in the way that we were, where it, it really just felt like you know you're in your makeshift 
voiceover yeah. booth in, in, <laughs> in your apartment or wherever you live and, and you're really only doing your scenes. And so to see all of these characters come to life and to be able to hear the voices of, of the incredible cast and, and yeah, it was, it was really, um, even though I, I, you know, obviously knew what a lot of the scenes were about to see it all come together. There were definitely a lot of surprises and uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited for people to see this movie. How, how is it sort of like for, for each of you to sort of embody your characters and, um, and, and maintain an energy level, I suppose? Because obviously, Aukrina, you're like high up and you're actually, your bride is quite grounded and, you know, like, uh, I mean, how is it to, to, to perpetuate that energy for both of the roles? You know, it was a, everything was a two-way, kind of a two-way street because, in, in, you know, in, some, in, 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 in playing Sisu, I think, was the first time I really kind of played a character and felt big and and kind of her power you know as a dragon i i, I think I, I played and i've animated animals in in the past but for this one specifically i i, I it was a it was a very special feeling and yes i think you do you do need that energy if you can't go into a, a ccu recording session with low energy i think that that's uh impossible but um yeah i think that but it, the thing about her i think is i was able to do a whole a whole spectrum of like uh from from goofy scenes where just you know straight up reacting to hot food to um to like really to kind of like tear teary eyed tear jerky scenes that made me quite dramatic in real like in real life it felt emotional you know so uh yeah and i have to ask about con baby <laughs> baby noi she's a bit of a scene baby noi. i mean when when you uh, I mean, I don't know when you first found out about Con Baby or, you know, um, I mean, <laughs> what's your reaction to Con Baby? Hilarious. <laughs> I, I just, yeah, I thought the idea of uh, Baby Noi and also the Ongis, like, what a fun idea. Um, and also the actress, Talia Tran, who plays Baby Noi is just like the sweetest, most like well spoken. Yeah. Like, I want to hire her as my lawyer, Paul, everything. Yeah. She's, just, yeah. she's amazing. She's just like uh, an amazing kid. Yeah, she really is. Um, and yeah, the, uh, what a, there's so many great characters in this, but I think Baby Noy is definitely a, a standout. <laughs> and then her story too, you know, she's just trying to fend for herself after yeah. her parents were taken away. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Now, um, I suppose finally, I mean, like this obviously has a lot of representation um, in the film. Uh, I mean, how, how do you how do you both feel about because um, you, you must feel like in some ways role models to sort of a younger generation. And how much do you hope that this film will um, uh, will, will help younger girls sort of feel confident about themselves? Yeah. Um, man, role model is such a it's such a big, yeah. big idea. Yeah, what do you, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this because whenever I hear that word, I'm like, am I a role model? Like it's such yeah. a, and, because then it's like, you know, you look around and there's like chip bags everywhere. And it's like, I, yeah. I don't think that I should be if, I, if, if it doesn't look like me, like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's all, whatever I do. And I think, you know, as, as Asian American performers, we just want there to be more because the, the landscape has changed so much from when we were kids. And there were literally, you could count on your hand how many Asian American uh, actresses or actors were in the mainstream media. Um, and so to now there being um, just so much more inclusivity on uh, in front of the camera and behind the camera um, in, in movies like this. And then, you know, obviously movies like Crazy Rich Asians that, that was, was such a benchmark in, in that kind of progress. So it's, it's opening up. And I just want, uh, if I were to leave anything, it would just be, you know, the, the, for there to be more, you know, just proof that you can do it, you know, that's it. Yeah. And it's enjoyable and everyone loves it. So it's all good, but thank good. you so much. I love thank the movie. You. Thank you so Thanks. much. Take care. Have a thank good day. Bye.